What is going on guys and girls? My name is James Althexi and welcome back today to Crazy Craft. How are you doing everyone? Welcome back, welcome back. So, <laughs> basically we have a bit of a story to tell. So last episode we were in the Unstable Land Dimension and we were doing some dungeon raiding. Now I thought things were going amazingly. You know, we found some cool dungeons, we did them, we got some cool bits. I uploaded the video and then got a message from our good friend Justin or think noodles and he said ha, I just watched your episode it was really funny we literally went to the same dungeons now at first I was like oh that's kind of weird you know we went to the same type of dungeons no 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 no. we went to exactly the same dungeons now I have a theory ladies and gentlemen are you ready for this Justin is a very very tidy person in real life and I think that shows in his minecrafting because <laughs> The dungeons I went to were so spotless. There was no random blocks everywhere. There was no exploded walls. Now, when we go to a dungeon, it's a real mess. It's horrible. There's carnage. There's exploded walls. There's random blocks everywhere. There's troll poles. But these ones were really clean. But <laughs> basically, all of those cool items that we got last episode that we thought were awesome, turns out those were just the stuff that Justin didn't want. Oh, dear. So, yeah, I'm really sorry. As I'm sure you guys know, <laughs> we make a lot of mistakes on this channel, but you know what? We have fun when we're doing it, so that's all that matters. Um, but yeah, so what I've done today is this is kind of like a bonus episode, and I thought, you know what? Let's try and make up for this. Let's do an extra episode this week, so hopefully there's going to be this one and then another one on Sunday. So I thought, you know what, we'll do a bonus episode. We'll try and make amends. I have moved miles away from all of anyone else's things. So these dungeons should be just in proof. No one has been here, I promise. So there's some cool new dungeons. Let's make up for it. Let's do some new raiding. What the heck is this crystal? So, I have been doing a bit of learning, actually, in between this and last episode, and I've learned a little bit about these awesome towers. So this is thanks to you guys. Thank you so much, of course, for all of your help and your suggestions and your comments in each video. It really, really is appreciated. But, basically, these big towers, which I call the Tower of Terror, each, like, floor has a different set of mob on it. Now, a lot of these mobs drop items which are made for Big Bertha. The problem is, is that, like... We probably need Big Bertha to do the big ones. So if I remember correctly, is this the six layer one? One, two, three, four, five, six. I think this is the one that has the Royal Guardian gear in the bottom layer. Now, I'm not even going to attempt it right now because we are not strong enough and there is no chance that we're going to be able to get to the bottom. But I think this one has the best sword in the game inside it. <laughs> we're so close. But it's cool, we need to make the Big Bertha, so we need to keep getting the mob drops and stuff. Let's actually take a look and see which ones we've got here. Um, so this is kind of one that, if you remember correctly, we did actually get the blade in a lucky block. So that's done, which is awesome. But we need the handle, which is big hammer. We've got a ray gun, we've got a mantis claw, we've got green goo. Oh, are we really close to this? I've got jumpy bug, I don't have sea monster, I don't have molanoid, I've got moth, I've got basilisk. And I don't have the scorpion. I've got the... Wow, we're really close to this. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're not going to do it this episode. We're going to do some more exploring. This is a new dungeon. I have never seen this one before. And this is definitely fresh. 100%. No Justins have been here. Okay, let's go and check it out. Ooh. Bankers? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, I love this mob. Okay, so I've never ever seen this like properly in Minecraft when playing, but I've seen other people do it. These are like, people call these politicians, right? <laughs> oh, they're so amazing. They're really chubby though. Hamburgers! Okay, so here's the problem. The closer that we get, whoa, these are doing a lot of damage. Oh my goodness, I've just noticed. But yeah, the closer that we actually get, the more that spawn. This is really sneaky, but I have actually discovered a bit of a secret. So this is pretty useful, actually. To be honest, I'm kind of scared about using it in this particular area just because, basically... Oh, God, there's so many of them. Okay, let's... You know what? Let's actually get out of here for now. Oh, let me out, let me out, let me out. Why am I... My inventory! What the... <laughs> They've just... Are you kidding me? You've stolen everything I own. What? Kill it. Kill it with fire. Kill it with fire. Punch it. I don't have anything. It's taken my... Oh, God. This is a disaster. This is a seriously big disaster, guys. Where are... Oh, no. I've been sausage. Oh, there it is. There's my stuff. 
Okay, so these mobs, I've never seen these before. They take your stuff and then you have to kill them to get it back. Oh, that's amazing. I had no idea. So I did actually manage to get back in there. I've got some of my stuff. I basically went ham status with my thunder staff. We have destroyed all the spawners. And this was the secret that I was just about to tell you is that the thunder staff destroys mob spawners. Now, this is amazing for these towers because it does destroy the spawners in one hit. So we aren't going to be taking on this big six tower, but I will just demonstrate this very quickly if we can. You see these spawners here? Do you see them? Do you see them? If we go like this. Is. Bang! Oh god, no, no, no. Worms, worms, worms. Run, run. How on earth did a nightmare get inside here? Dude, this is completely not your dungeon. What are you doing, buddy? Get out of here. Come on, out you go. There we go. How'd you like them lemons? Oh, you're so bitter. Okay, cool. So yeah, <laughs> I did actually accidentally destroy one of the chests with this thunder staff. But yeah, it's pretty cool because this does destroy mob spawners. So let's go and take a look, see what we've got. Um, we've got some spawn, spawn criminal eggs, which is not that great. Corn dogs, not ideal. Uh, what have we got here? Some titanium. I will take those quite happily. And what else have we got in here? We've got some rubies, some more criminals, a load of gold. We don't really need those. We'll take the diamonds. Ha! Huh. Well, that was a little disappointing. But anyway, let's go and check something else out. Let's see what we can find. So, do you guys remember this awesome ender temple that we went to last episode? And we were so excited that there was a dragon egg at the top. Turns out, ladies and gentlemen, there's actually dragon eggs inside the chest. Look at this. One dragon egg here that Justin took. Ah, <laughs> uh, we played ourselves. It's, it's as simple as that, lads. We played ourselves good and proper. Two more dragon eggs in here. Ah, uh, but this is good. We do need these for witchery, which is awesome. Um, but yeah. So there's another one of these. Now, I'm kind of curious as to what sort of stuff actually spawns inside them. So let's go and check this out. Molanoid. Ew. Oh, we need one of these for the big bertha, right? So let's go and check these out. Is there a molanoid? Oh, that's hideous. <laughs> I've never seen one of those before. Oh, it's like a big giant mole. It's so hideous. Oh, oh God. What the heck is happening? What is this? Oh, it puts... Okay. Well, that's a new one. I've never seen these guys before. So they put dirt everywhere. Ah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. So did it actually drop the piece that we got? Yes, we got the nose. Awesome. So what's in these chests then? Is it just gold? Because I feel like if it's just gold, Justin may have just taken those. And I feel it kind of is. Huh. Interesting. But that was good because we did manage to get the piece of the mole that we need for Big Bertha. So, huh. This could be good, lads. This could be good. We're going to keep going. I think what I want to do is I actually want to go and try again one of the dungeons that we did last episode. I don't think I want to do, like, the sixth one. Where's my spade? Oh, no. I've lost my spade. Are you kidding? Oh, God. We need to get out of here. <laughs> Let's get out of here now. Come on. Let's go. Man, these moles are horrible. But, okay, we got the nose, which is good. That is good news. I don't know where else to go. Oh, we should probably maybe... Let's try and find one of the dungeons with the gold down the sides or the rubies. Which one did we do? Did we do the rubies? I think we did the rubies. Either way, let's see what we can find. I want to try and find one of those tall white ones as well because we didn't go in one of those last episodes. So that's really one that I want to find. I'm miles away from anything though and stuff is generating fresh. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we get a bit of good luck. I almost forgot. Illuminati pet. God damn you. Okay, in before, these pumpkins actually have something inside them all along. So the one we came across last time, it was empty, right? There was nothing inside it. Oh, there's stuff inside it. Ooh, ghost pumpkin skellies. Ooh, these are cool. Hey, so there is something inside it, and there's some mob spawners. Nice. Oh, I feel like such a sausage. Okay, so can we can we break these guys? Can we? Oh, no, hang on. We need some blocks. We need some blocks. I've only got blocks of diamond. What an expensive troll pole. Let's do it, though. It'll be so worth it. Okay, let's break these mob spawners. Nice. I don't think there's anything else inside here, though. Okay, so at least we didn't miss out too much on the pumpkin. But even so, I think it's really cool. I don't remember seeing this one. This is kind of just like a square box. So I don't know... Well, this is exactly, should we break inside? Oh, what the heck are you? WTF, exactly, dude. This is the same thing that I'm thinking. Okay, it's not that <laughs> The noises it's making are horrible. Ew. 
Man, I love this dimension so much. It's like my favorite dimension so far. Okay, so is there anything good in here? We've got some new spawn eggs. We've got a brutal fly, sea viper. Oh, we need those. A uh, moth scale helmet. Yoink, I will take you. Spawn a spider robot driver. A snow golem, yes. A molinoid, yes. Oh man, there's some cool things. Cave Fisher, we'll take some of these eggs for now. But I still think that the one thing that I want to do this episode is maybe try and tackle another one of these towers. I don't think this big one will be a good idea because we don't have our big bertha yet. And I think we'll struggle. But actually, hang on. One, two, three, four. Maybe this was the one that we did earlier. Ooh. Oh, Illuminati confirmed. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? What the heck is that? Lapis boots? They're kind of fancy looking. But I do not want them. Alright, so what I'll do is I think because we've seen me raiding this before, I am basically going to power my way through this dungeon as best as possible. So let me show you my little trick because I think this is good. And I'm actually quite proud of this. This has uh, bees... Mantis, Mothra, and Brutal flies on, but check this out, right? So you see these guys over here? Boom! Gone. Spawners disappeared. Check that out. So this makes life so much easier. I missed. Hang on. Look at that, guys. Look at that. It is such a good way of doing these dungeons. And I'm kind of pleased that I actually figured this out. So, um, yeah, check that out. Oh, no, I keep missing. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I've got another one of these just in case you run out. But I'm going to try and make my way up here. I'm going to go inside and we'll see what we can do. Okay, now remember, this is actually pretty chaotic. Oh my goodness, there is stuff everywhere. <laughs> We're only on the mantis layer as well. Oh god. Where's the staircase? Oh my goodness, look at this right now. This is such a colorful mess. Uh <laughs> I'm still trying to work my way up to the top. I think we're really, really close now. Um, but yeah, we're kind of trying to deal with the moth layer of things. Things are not going quite to plan. We're not dying, which is good. But as you can see, this is absolute chaos. Oh, man. I didn't uh, try and destroy the spawners. James, try and get the spawners down. All right, you know, we're going to break them. We're going to break them usually. Come on. Pick. Pick. <laughs> Oh, God. Okay, there's no spawners on the top, which is good. So I'm kind of curious as to what the first area is going to be. So I'm going to power through this. I don't want to waste all episode in this dungeon, seeing as we've kind of already done it. But, oh, it's T-Rex. Hey, dudes. <laughs> I didn't realize these guys were in here. Okay, pretty cool. Anyway, I'm going to show you what's in the chest on each one of these floors. This may take some time, but we're going to do it because... I don't know. We're going to do it. It's going to be awesome. Let's do it. Boom. Woo. Okay, so T-Rex are down, which is good. Uh, I think Nasty Saurus are below us, which sound amazing. I don't think I've seen Nasty Saurus. But yeah, we've got a ton more items. So I think we've got a ton of moth scales. We don't really need to collect any more. But let's check the chest. Ooh, some Miner's Dream. Nice. We'll take that. What else is in this one? Uh, more Miner's Dream, which is nice. We've got a ton of emerald gear, so that's not too much of a big deal right now. Uh, just more emeralds and junk. Let's take the titanium and uranium. And dun dun dun, rubbish. And drop. <laughs> oh, nasty Saurus. Look at you guys. So there is actually a way. Now, I'm trying to practice this. It does kind of work. But if you get the shot of the Thunderstaff perfect, you can actually destroy the spawners inside the bedrock. And I think you have to try and strike them from above. Now, this is easier said than done. I have tried that on the previous floor, but it was a little bit tricky. But nonetheless, we're going to deal with these dudes. So if you guys give me a second, I'm going to make you proud and destroy the spawners. And we'll raid the chests. Bear with, bear with, lads, bear with. I think that actually worked. Oh my goodness, I just spammed my um, thunder staff, and yes, I did destroy all the spawners. Nice. So this is a really good way of doing it, I think, and this might actually be able to help us when we go and tackle one of these big boy ones. The only problem is it does burn through your... Is my armor okay? Yeah, it does burn through your thunder staff, so I'm wondering if we can enchant these. I don't know. We've got a ton of levels, as you can see, so we might be able to enchant them and put some efficiency on. Uh, but what's in here? So nothing really too good in that one. Uh, oh, no, get me rid of the leather. Uh, nothing too good in that one either. Okay, so... so oh, God, no, no, give me my... <laughs> Just throwing my bow away. Um, yeah, there's nothing amazing in these chests, to be honest with you. Oh, these are kind of disappointing. Ha! Huh, creeper launcher. Do these actually work? 
How do these work? Do you pick up a creep? I don't know. I've never used them before. Anyway, I think we got some more. Hmm. That was a disappointing layer, but you know what? We can go deeper. Come on. <laughs> Come on. So yeah, I hate the basilisk. They are the worst ones by miles. I don't really know what's in like the biggest tower, but I just despise this level. It takes so long. That's the problem. It just takes so long. I had to repair my stuff. My thunder staff is out. There's mobs and drops and stuff everywhere, but you know what? Give me that. Hey, why did you swap? What the heck? I don't know what happened there. Okay, so let's check these chests. <sighs> A load of rubbish. Amethyst. Fantastic. If I don't find something in the lo lower level, I'm going to be really annoyed. We've got like three squid zookas already, so we don't need another one. Um, the same usual stuff. Ink sacks, rat swords. Anything good? No. Oh, no. Okay, okay, okay. So I think one more floor. I need to do some repairing. We've got one more duct tape. That should do us, though, hopefully. Let's see what we can do. Okay, I just went ham status with my um, my Thunderstaff, and I think I got the spawners, which is good, which is really good. I think this is the final floor before it actually drops off, so there better be something good in one of these chests. Oh, otherwise, there will be a lot of salt, lads. Ooh, come on. Ooh, okay, there we go. So that is the final floor done. Now... I did actually spot that we need one of these big hammers if we are supposed to make what we're after. So the big hammer, boom, nice. I did accidentally destroy one of the chests. I'm really annoyed by this. I hope there was nothing good in it. But okay, moan of truth. Don't let me down. Come on, come on. This better be good. And it's nothing. What? Oh, no. <laughs> I thought there would be something cool. Okay, so we don't need the ruby boots. Let's get rid of the iron ingots. Um, let's get rid of some of these mantis claws. We've got some back at the base anyway. All right, that chest was disappointing. Anything good in this one? One of these funny things, another thunder staff. You know what? Let's swap the dead thunder staffs for the working ones. Some kraken repellent, some ruby leggings. Oh, so maybe I didn't miss out too much. Maybe there's nothing. A freaking ray gun. We'll take another one of these weird apple things. Huh. So, unless I accidentally destroyed something awesome in that chest, there isn't actually that much good stuff in these big ones anyway. Hmm. We spoke seriously too soon. There is another floor, and I think this is the one that will have some cool stuff. So, if you want to see my tactic in action, here it is. Bang, 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 Try and destroy the spawners. I think we got them, and now we start the slaying. So, hopefully this should be good. I think we've got rid of the spawners. No more else should come, and let's get rid of these jumpy bugs. It's kind of a cool tactic. It does work as well. But yeah, okay, let's get rid of these dudes. Okay, even though I've broken the spawners, things are getting seriously hectic. Oh man, so hopefully if my armor can hold out for a little bit longer, we should be able to take out these big ones. They'll stop spawning the small ones, and we can actually have a look in these chests. Okay, okay, okay. Things aren't going too badly, although this is just absolute chaos. Okay, we're thinning them out. We're thinning them out. I think we've done pretty well. So we got rid of all the big ones, uh, which like spawn the little ones, I think. So that is pretty good. And I'm going to be honest, the hero of the day here has to be the ultimate armor. <laughs> because without the ultimate armor, no chance. But yeah, we've done pretty good. And we got rid of all of these spit bugs. God damn you. Yes. And we can finally pick up these drops. So I think we've got some of these from somewhere. But, um... Let's grab another set of them just in case. Let's get rid of this one emerald. Let's pick up some more jumpy bug scales. Oh, there's one more. Ooh, yes. There we go. Right, moment of truth. These are supposed to be the proper chests in this dungeon. And it's full of spawn eggs. No, this is not what I want. <laughs> spawn the ender dragon. Oh, my goodness. We've got some hydrated eggs of these. But you know what? We'll take them anyway because they could be fun. Large worm, small worm, chipmunk, spit bug, hydralisk. Sounds amazing. Um, let's get rid of a few things. Actually, you know what? Let's clean up our inventory a little bit. Well, I made a little bit of space, but I haven't got too much, I think. I think we're going to have to go back to the overworld and clean up. So anyway, the second chest, and it has yet more spawn eggs. Oh, God. Uh, okay, so I'm kind of concerned that these are all just spawn eggs. Velocity raptors, though, sound really fun. So let's grab these guys. Come on, be something cool in here. Oh, more spawn eggs, robo-pounders, robo-warriors, birds. Something I can't pronounce. We'll take that. Chipmunk. Sea monster, sea viper, gazelle, nightmare. We've got loads of nightmares. No, basilisk. Screw the basilisk, man. They suck. And the final one. The enchanted golden apple cow. The rat. 
the Qbubu rubber duckies, and spawn of the dragon. Ooh, I'll take the dragons. Um, but okay, so I think that is it for this dungeon. We just need to go and kill the scorpion below, get his sweet drop, and I think we might be done for this. So bear with, let's get out of here. You know what? On second thoughts, our gear is really broken. We have like a broken ultimate bow as well. Our inventory is full. Let's save that dungeon and the next like bigger dungeons for another episode. So I think next episode we'll take a break from the unstable ant dimension. But the good news is we have loads of items towards the big Bertha. And I kind of felt like I sort of owed you guys a video where I could show you it without like it already being sort of half done. So I think we've done that today. Uh, yeah, this is kind of like a bonus episode. So I hope you guys like like that and I hope this was a good idea I kind of wanted to sort of yeah basically <laughs> I wanted to not look like a sausage basically so I hope we've done okay we've got loads and loads of items towards our big bertha we've raided some more dungeons so everything else that I know I think there's a few more structures in the unstable land dimension that we haven't yet done and I also think that the big six tier one is the main one in order to try and get the royal guardian gear but we're not strong enough yet and we're not going to attempt it for a little while anyway there's still so much more stuff to do it is very very exciting um but yeah I do hope you guys enjoyed this uh, if you did please remember to poke me in that like button before you leave and also if you're not yet subscribed go for it because we do minecraft done for Fun. So I'll see you in next episode. Hopefully this will be on Sunday and we'll try something different. We'll go and do some crazy cool stuff. Um, but yeah, until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. And see ya.